Hello, happy Monday guys, and welcome to another edition of Coffee with Miss Jimenez, where I have coffee and I teach y'all today's lesson and we get things done, don't we? I'm almost done for my second cup, guys. It's anyways. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um they are not letting us go onto into the school for very long anymore um, and it's very minimal the amount of time we are left let to be in there and work um, so I'm just going to show y'all a couple of things um, of our resources um, and where to find some of our resources and lesson plans in case one day they just tell us look you're not going to be allowed to go in school anymore because it, they're just giving us shorter and shorter amount of time. Um, but I'm just going to show you on my laptop. And then um, after I show you um, how to get our online resources, then we'll go ahead and get started with today's lesson. Okay, so I'm going to minimize my video first. Okay, so you're going to go to your internet. And you are going to go to Ector County ISD. Org. You're going to click on this COVID-19 information and remote learning. And then this remote learning. Oh, no, wait. Pre-K elementary lessons. So it's organized by week. Here's week one, bilingual week one, week two, bilingual week two, and then week three. So we are on week three. And it's going to take you to this Google Drive. Click on it again. All right, so this is pre-K. This is fifth. This is fourth grade. This is second grade. This is, I think this should be third grade. Yeah, it's right here. So this is where I get all of our lessons plans from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a copy. And I'm going to wait for it to pop up over here. How's y'all's weekend? Was it good? Okay, whoa, like a ton of them popped up. Okay, all right, so over here are the subjects. And we are just going to uh, focus on the ELAR, phonics, and then iStation for today. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click on this blue link and it should take you somewhere else. I'm gonna, why did it open so many? So weird. Okay, so anyways, so we usually, whenever we go to um, get back on campus, I usually print you off one of these copies, right? Okay, look familiar a little bit? You need to get a little bit bigger. Okay, so we, this is how you get the lesson plans for uh, reading, math, I think social studies was on there. Oh, I don't remember. Well, no, because social study is being integrated with our reading. So there won't be any more social studies. I think it might just be science. All right, so we're going to work on our choice boards this week, okay? So I'm going to click on this blue link right here. It's going to take me to a choice board. Yes. There's kids playing outside already. I can hear them on the trampoline. Come on. Okay. It's not the one up for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to be working off of this. No, not this one. This choice board right here. Okay. So um, whenever I read one off, it's going to be one of these three, okay? And then if you got a packet from school this week, these are the one, the copy that you got, okay? All right, so whenever I say um, that we're gonna be reading off the choice boards, these six right here are the ones that I'm talking about. Okie dokie, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, where am I at? All right, so let's, I wanna bring you forward so I can talk to y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our lesson. 
um, it says, throughout this week, you will choose the following cho choice boards with all four of the books that you have previously read. So the four books include Timeless Thomas, A Bumpy Ride, Rosa Revere Engineer, and Edison's Best Invention, okay? Um, the choice boards, guys, like these, it's talking because it's, it's meant to like be for a bilingual class, but we can still do it in English. The activity can still be done in English. I'm, I don't expect y'all to write in Spanish. I promise I don't. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is there's six options and you can pick whichever activity that you want to do. So what I'm going to do every day is I'm going to give you two choices. Okay, that'll kind of narrow it down. Um, and then you can kind of pick whichever one you want to do of the two choices. Um, and I'll be able to explain to it to you. I'll, I'll be able to explain it, the activity to you versus um, you just saying, well, I don't know how to do this. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm going to see Oh, right here. Okay. I'm just going to do this one right here and then um, this one right here. Okay. And um, okay, let's, my mind is all over the place, guys. Okay. So combination, pick another story that you have already read. Or choose a new one, combine two deta combine details from the two stories to create a new um, a new version. All right, guys. So it's basically saying, look, grab. Here. There you go. Okay. So it's saying, it's basically saying, look, grab this story and this story and then combine, um, get details from this story and this story and then combine it together to create a new a completely different new story, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick any story you want. So let's see. I'm going to pick... Ro I, like, I like Rosie Revere Engineer. So I'm going to pick Rosie Revere Engineer. And then I'm going to pick a bumpy ride. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you how to do this. Ready? All right. So I have to have details from both stories. Okay. So Rosie Revere Engineer and a bumpy ride. Okay, my abbreviation. Okay. So what are some details? some memorable details from these two stories that you enjoyed. So think of that and then write it down. Okay, so for Rosie Revere Engineer, um, one of the memorable things for me was that um, she kind of gathered stuff, like just random stuff, right, um, that she just found laying around. Um, so I'm going to, what did she call it? Oh, it was a stash, right? She called it her stash. So in Rosie Revere Engineer, I'm going to put Rosie stashed away random objects to later create something new. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now um a bumpy ride. Let's see. What is um Ooh, you know what? Um, I found it fascinating that they called it a hobby horse when it kind of didn't really look like a horse to me, at least. But it kind of did. I don't know. So it was a silly name. Um, let's see. Some of the... Originally, some of the wheels were made out of metal, right? So I'm going to write... They... Gave the bike the nickname of 
a hobby horse. And it had metal wheels. Okay, so those are my um, I'm blanking out <laughs> my um, details from both of my store both of my stories, right? So now what I have to do is I have to create a completely new story that has to do with stashing random objects to create new things and um, giving something a nickname called the hobby horse, but also it having metal wheels, okay? So I now have to create a story all on my own, okay? About someone, it could be Rosie. It could also be because they didn't really, they weren't specific on the people, right? Um, about someone calling, giving something a silly name like the hobby horse and it having metal wheels, not really functioning very well, right? Okay, so you have to create the story. It can be fun. It can be silly, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but if you want to um, ah, whoo, um, illustrate it, that is perfectly fine, okay? So um, what I suggest you doing is grabbing, where's my piece of paper? Oh, okay. Okay, so you're going to grab a piece of paper and you can just fold it like on a notebook paper, right? And then you can, can create like a little booklet. And it doesn't have to be very long, um, but have fun with it. All I'm really looking for is it being longer than two sentences. Please do not create a story that is long, shorter than two sentences. Like, y'all can do this, okay? Um, I'm, and I'm also looking for those details that are from these stories, okay? I think that's it. Yeah, okay, that one. Okay, so now let's go to our next activity. So that was option number one. So you can do that activity if you would like. Um, get creative with it, okay? Like, it doesn't have to be, like, super serious. Um, it can be something silly or fun, okay? Or you can create something, have a person do some kind of weird invention. or, And it doesn't have to be my um, details. It can be something completely different. If you don't like mine, you can change them, okay? Okay, so the next thing is presentation. Present. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this true or false. It says write 10 statements about this story. Five of the statements must be true and five must be false. Okay? All right. So let me get my whiteboard out real quick and then we'll... So we'll, we will organize this in a T-chart, guys, okay? So we are going to do T-chart, okay? So pick a story, any story you want, okay? So I'm going to do Timeless Thomas. Yeah, I'm going to do Timeless Thomas. Okay. So I'm going to do five facts. And was it opinions? No, I don't think it was. Oh, true and false. I'm losing it, guys. I really am. I need to go outside, get some fresh air. Okay. Five. I just lost it again. I'm telling you. I'm losing my mind. Okay. Five. True and false. So five. True. And five, false. Okay, so do y'all remember what true means? That I can actually go in there and I can prove it, right? So I can, I can prove it. So I can literally go in there and say, Timeless Thomas um, 
used to hammer things together, right? Okay. Well, right here on this page, it shows me that Timeless Thomas hammered things together, right? Um, I don't want you just to look at the illustrations, though. I want you to actually cite the text. So I want you to actually... I thought I marked it myself. <laughs> I want you to get information from the text, not just the illustrations, okay? So let's see. Uh, Thomas Eva Ad Elva Addison began experimenting when he was just a boy. That's right. It was at the beginning of his life dedicated to improve the world with his brilliant ideas and inventions. So what we can say is that Thomas became interested in science at an early age. Okay, so five true things, things that I can actually go into the text and see with my eyes, okay? It's okay. <laughs> okay, so five false Five false facts. Five, five false statements. Guys, Mr. Jimenez is making me nervous. He's watching me. I always do better with kids. I don't do well with adults. Okay, so five false facts. Five, blah, 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 five false details. So things that I can, that I can just, that I made up on my head. Okay? Where are you going? Oh, I want to go. Can you wait like 20 minutes? Okay. <laughs> Yay, we're going to go outside. Okay. Um, things that are not real, that you just made up, that it, it can be some an opinion, okay, or something that didn't really happen, okay? So we can say that Thomas blew up his science lab when he was little because it doesn't say anything about that, right? And we can't really prove it. We can't go into the text and actually show, like, hey, he blew up his lap, right? So I'm going to put Thomas blew up his lab when he was little. So five false, um, if something's true, we can prove it. Um, if it's false, it can't be proven. Or it didn't happen, okay? It's like a lie. Yeah, it's kind of like a lie, okay? All right, so did that kind of explain? Day to y'all a little bit. Um, if y'all need any help, message me and I'll try and get to y'all as soon as I can. Okay. Um, okay. So that is the reading. So you can do either, or you can create your story, or you can give me the ten statements. Okay. Whichever one you like. It doesn't matter to me. Um, all right. So let's go back to this. So, <laughs> oops, zoomed in way too much. Okay. Boy, okay. So now we're going to do, so these are our spelling words. Okay, guys, for the week. Okay, so the instructions say, look at the chart below. It's this chart. Does this look familiar to y'all? Yes? I hope so. Okay. Um, notice the singular form of each word becomes plural by adding ES. So I want you to think of these two statements, guys. Which letter changed before the ES was added? And two, is there a vowel or a consonant in front of the Y? Okay. So I want you to look, let's look at number row one right here. Okay. So these are the rules. Which letter changed before the ES? So right here, in trophy, trophy is singular, 
it means that there's just one trophy. Trophies is plural. That means that there are more than one trophies. Does that make sense? So like a country, one country, countries, more than one country. Strawberry means that there's one strawberry. Strawberries means that there's more than one strawberries. So strawberries is plural. Strawberry is singular. Countries is plural. Country is singular. Okay? Densities is plural. Density is singular. Trophies is plural. Trophy is singular. All right. So I want you to tell me, in trophy, which letter changed before the ES was added? So what changed? That Y, right? So is there a vowel or a consonant in front of the Y? There's nothing there, is there? Okay, so what about before? That H, it is a consonant, right? Right. So the, that, do y'all see that there's a consonant behind all of these Y's? Okay, so because there's a consonant, we're dropping it, adding an I, we're dropping the Y, adding an I, and then adding ES, okay? Okay, so do y'all see that in most of these singular ones? It all, they're mostly all N and Y, right? So what is the rule? There's a Y at the end, you drop it, add I before adding ES. Okay? All right. So our activity, guys, is you have to change the Y. Oops. Choose two of the singular words below to write two sentences using the plural form of these two words. Here's an example. So in strawberry, let's say that I chose the word strawberry. My sentence would be, I love to eat juicy, juicy strawberries. So we're, trying, we're using the plural form on top of my pancakes. It says, write your sentences on a notebook paper or turn it into, to turn it into your teacher. Or take a picture and submit it to your teacher if you are doing your work online. Okay, so how many of these do y'all pick? You're going to pick two, but you're going to pick the um, plural form to write in the sentence, okay? Okay, so as an example, I'm going to use the word stories, okay? Mm, no, not right there. Stories. Okay, so I'm going to write story. because that is the singular form, right? And I'm going to write, now write story in plural form, and I'm going to use it in a sentence, okay? Story. My mother was an author who wrote many stories. Stories is the plural. Story is the singular. Okay? So I want you to remember singular means one. Plural means two. Or more than one. Like multiple. Okay? Um, okay. So I think that's the only two things you need to do today. So your reading activity, which is either your story or the statements, the 10 statements. You gotta pick between each one. And then your two sentences using the plural format of the um, word, okay? And I think that's it. Just do your 30 minutes of I station and then, yeah, 30 minutes of I station and then you will be done for the day. Pretty simple. Um, we're trying to keep it low key this week because it's um, Easter week want to keep everybody don't want to keep everybody preoccupied with work okay um yeah if y'all have any more questions let me know message me I will try and message y'all back as soon as I can um what are you doing what are you doing
Hi, baby. Okay, hold on. This is Rory. Rory's my Black Dane. So Roxy's my Gray Dane. Gray Dane. Rory is my Black Dane. She's just a silly girl. Okay, so I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. <gasps> if I forget something, guys, I'll message y'all. Um, and I'm sorry if I am forgetting something. Um, but yeah. Oh, I really do feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. I'll message y'all. <laughs> or I'll tell y'all in tomorrow's video. Um, but yeah, okay. So tomorrow, I'm going to do a special treat for y'all. Um, and I'm going to show y'all how to decorate some of my favorite way to decorate some of my um, Easter eggs. Um, so that's exciting. Um, yeah. All right, guys. We shall see y'all soon. If y'all need anything, um, message me. I'll try and get back to y'all. Okay. Bye, guys. I miss y'all. Hugs.